Hey guys, before starting this video, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A video. So if you guys have any questions for me um, that you would like me to answer, don't hesitate in leaving in the comments below. So now I just have like a list of questions I can answer to during the video. And yeah, that's that. And now, um, since posting my hangboard video last week, a lot of you guys have been asking me what I do for stretching, what's my stretching routine. So I was thinking, why not show you guys? It's very basic. Um, I mainly do lower body, so sorry if you're hoping for some upper body, but yeah, I suck at lower body and sometimes like in boulders, it, it stops me from making the boulder because I don't have like that leg flexibility to kick my foot out all the way to the other side of the wall. So I'm going to show you what I do. And I've recently also added functional mobility. So it's more like, it's not passive stretching, it's you're, you're doing active movements and that helps a lot too. It helps you apply what you're stretching into what you're doing. So climbing, if that makes sense. But yeah, stretching is something that has been always on and off in my life. Like there'd be phases where I'd be so motivated to stretch and I'd do it like every day and then I'd just stop for a year. So that's not helpful. But since um, quarantine last year, I've been stretching almost every day and I do see a lot of progress, but still haven't achieved my box split objective, which hopefully, which hopefully will happen one day. But for now, I am still far away, unfortunately. But yeah, enough talking and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so I'm stretching outside because it's a beautiful day. Um, sorry if you hear external noises like that car. Um, but yeah, so to start off almost every stretching session, it depends on my motivation, I start off with the functional mobility exercises, um, active stretching. And you can do these exercises before a workout session if you prefer but I usually just do it before my passive stretching. So these are the three exercises. Like my slippers? I have no idea what you call these exercises, um, but for this first exercise, this is going to be working on your quads. And the idea here is to keep your back straight. Um, try not to help yourself with your hands and you just want to lift one leg up at a time and that's going to actively work on your quads and you can hold between five to 10 seconds. Do the other side, take a minute break and then do that three times. The harder version of this exercise, um, you can put your leg, one of your legs behind you at 90 degrees and then same idea, you wanna keep your body straight, hips straight especially, and then lift your quad up. This is very hard for me, so my body is a bit slanting to one side and I am using my hands quite a bit because I find this extremely hard, but that's okay to start off with because unless you're like really good at it, it is really hard. Well, especially for me, because I just suck at it. <laughs> um, sometimes you may feel like you're really close to cramping, I was told that's normal because <laughs> it's really working on your muscles. But if you have, if you did like a really hard um, leg session or running or bike or whatever, maybe not do these exercises because you will cramp. At least that's what happened to me once. I went running and then like my legs were really tired and in the evening I stretched. Well, I tried doing active stretching and I was, yeah, it was too painful. Like I was very close to cramping and yeah, you don't want to cramp, right? <laughs> um, the second exercise is going to work on your adductors and glutes. And same idea, you're going to want to do each side three times between five seconds and 10 seconds with a minute rest. So for this exercise, you're going to have both of your legs at 90 degrees, one in front of you and one behind you. And you're going to try to lift your knee and foot up on the front side and do the same on the back side. So the harder version is to try to only lift your foot. Um, I can't do that on the front side. Um, the back side, I find it easier than lifting your whole knee and foot, but that's for you guys to try out. Normally, it's the harder version.
so for this last exercise it's kind of a compound exercise of the two exercises I showed you before and the idea here is just to try to move as slowly and in control as possible and you're just going to bring your leg in front of you to as far behind as you as possible you can budge onto one butt and like kind of balance yourself on one side and then bring your leg back to the front So now for the passive stretching exercises that I do, um, I tend to hold each exercise from one to two minutes. This really depends also on the motivation and how fast I want to get this done. But since I am really bad at, stre at like lower body flexibility, I do try to like hold yeah, one minute 30 for each exercise. And then the exercises which are typically like box splits, um, I try to hold for like two, three minutes and yeah, I'll show you these exercises. I have no idea what you call these exercises either, but this is exercise one, which just typically stretches out your hamstrings and for me, especially lower back. Um, and I hold this exercise for yeah, approximately a minute, a minute and a half. And then I go into like the frog sit position where your legs are, where your legs are like in a diamond position. And I just try to like stretch out my inner thighs and try to get my head to touch my feet. <laughs> and then I go into this position. Um, if you're rotating your upper body to the right, you want to bring your left leg over your right leg and have your foot at, around where your knee is and then you want to twist your body <laughs> if you see what I mean and then um, if you're twisting to the right you're going to have your left arm out to the left and you want to turn your head also to the left and the idea here is you want your knee to touch the ground of course but it's mostly the most important part is to try to keep your shoulders onto the ground and that's what will give you the stretch in um, your butt glutes and also rib cage and all of that stuff around there and back too but um yeah and then I hold this exercise for also approximately a minute and then I go into this stretch I try to stretch my legs out as far as possible and then bring my body down as low as possible same idea here you want to keep your back straight um, no round shouldered no arch back um, yeah keep your back straight and since this is one of the stretches that I'm really bad at I try to hold approximately three minutes um, which is quite long but usually I'm just like on TikTok and stuff like that <laughs> And then I hold this position, same idea here, since I'm really bad at this exercise and this stretch, I tried to hold for approximately two minutes. Um, keep in mind that my, shoulder, my shoulders start to burn quite a bit if I hold longer than that, so that's why I only really hold two minutes. Um, for this exercise, I like to bounce on each side. It helps me get a bit lower on the stretch and it also takes some time because two minutes is really long for me in this position and it kind of helps with taking up time. Quite far off still. <laughs> Getting out of that exercise is so hard. Keep in mind when you're doing each exercise you don't want to be in pain. <laughs> You're gonna feel uncomfortable. Um, it's not going to be a really nice position to be in, but just hold it and you don't wanna like really push yourself to the point where you're like, I'm suffering for the whole two minutes. You just really wanna feel the stretch and be in an uncomfortable position for a certain amount of time. <laughs> okay, and then for these next four exercises, I do them in a row. I do one side and then I change sides. And all of these exercises are going to work on your hip flexors, your hamstrings, and your glutes, and um, your adductors. And I hold each exercise um, in between one minute and one minute 30. 
For the first position, you want your front leg to be at 90 degrees and then your back leg stretched out behind. For the second position, all I'm doing is bringing my back leg up to try to touch my butt, but don't force yourself to try to touch your butt. Just try to go as far as possible, but not being in pain. And then I go into the hamstring stretch where my back leg is at 90 degrees and my front leg is as straight as possible and try to keep your back as straight as possible, unlike mine here. And then I head back into a box split position, but with one leg at 90 degrees hip straight and I try to get my butt as far back as possible to try to touch my feet but once again you don't want to be in pain and then I do the same thing on the other side And now for my final exercise. I think this exercise is called the pigeon. So the easiest way to get into this exercise is to put yourself back into this position and then bring your knee down and then focus on keeping your hips straight at the same time and then your back leg also straight. And then you wanna to try to bring your chest to touch your feet. And I tried to hold in this position for approximately one minute, one minute 30. Um, my left side is the weaker side the side that sucks the most. Uh, <laughs> so I try to hold a bit longer in that position. And yeah, find your, your, your comfortable position, even though it is really uncomfortable, and don't be in pain. Like don't force yourself to be in a painful position. If it is painful, then try not to bring your chest as low, try not to bring your knee as high up. Just yeah, modify so then you're in a comfortable position and you can hold that long. Oh my gosh, it was so warm outside. But that's the end of my stretching session. Um, those were all of my exercises. Um, and yeah, I try to do this every evening after a full day of like training, work or whatever. And honestly, I do feel like it has helped a lot. I do feel much better. I have progressed. It's just now that I've gotten to a point where it's really small progress. And yeah, I just want to get my buck splits, but I will. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in a week.